We've all owned a Nokia once. The phone that survived every fall. Yet, with the rise of technological advancements and touch screens, the legend that connected a billion people once slowly faded away from our hands. But what if I tell you that Nokia has already planned its comeback? This time, not on your hands, but above your heads. In the airwaves that connect the world around us. You heard it right. Nokia has just agreed to a partnership that could redefine not just its future, but the future of how every call, every stream, and every signal around us will work. If you grew up in India, chances are your first text, your first rento, maybe even your first heartbreak message came from this sound. Nokia, the phone that never broke, the brand that connected millions. That same Nokia is now building something you can't hold, can't drop, but can't live without. The world's first AI native network. And to make it happen, they just partnered with NVIDIA, the $5 trillion AI powerhouse behind almost every intelligent system on the planet. In a deal worth $1 billion. Before Apple, before Android, there was Nokia. A name that didn't just sell phones, it sold reliability. For nearly a decade, it was the global symbol of connection. In the early 2000s, every second neighborhood had a phone carrying this name. But eventually, the iPhone and the Android launched and the crown beneath Nokia began to shift. Touch screens, apps, ecosystems. The world began moving faster than the company that once built it. And in the span of a single year, the giant that connected billions of people for over a decade sadly lost its signal. But here's what most people don't know. Nokia did not die. It simply rewired itself. While we moved to newer brands, Nokia was busy building those invisible highways those brands would need to survive. Nokia's story began in 1865 as a paper mill on the banks of the Nokia and Virta River in Finland. Over the next century, it evolved through rubber, cables and electronics until, by the early 2000s, it became the face of mobile communication. The ringtone that echoed across continents wasn't just a melody, it was a statement of trust, simplicity and reach. Then came disruption. Smartphones redefined what connection meant. Nokia's hardware mastery met software speed and the balance broke. Its market share collapsed from 40% to low single-digit percentages in just five years. In 2013, it sold its phone business to Microsoft. Microsoft is making a big move this morning in the smartphone market. Today, Nokia confirmed it will sell most of its business to Microsoft for $7.2 billion in cash. And most assumed the story had ended. But while the headlines moved on, the engineers stayed. And so did the vision to connect the world, not through handsets, but through the networks underneath them. The fall wasn't an ending, it was a reboot. Fiber lines, base stations, satellites, 5G grids, the entire invisible infrastructure that makes your phone even possible today was built by Nokia. It stopped being a phone company and became the backbone of modern connectivity. Quietly it powered the telecom giants, cloud services, as well as the data centers all across the world, from New Delhi to New York. When we picture transformation, we often think of shiny devices. However, real innovation happens in the systems and the codes that develop in the background. And that's exactly where Nokia found its new life. By 2015, Nokia had completed its transition from consumer electronics to enterprise infrastructure. It acquired Alcatel Lucent, bringing Bell Labs, home of the transistor, under its way. It doubled down on 5G research, becoming one of the few companies with end-to-end -end telecom capability. Its engineers developed AnyRAM, a software framework that lets mobile networks run on any partner cloud or hardware. In simple terms, it made networks flexible, intelligent and open. And as the world moved towards 5G advanced and 6G research, Nokia found itself holding something rare, credibility and control over the infrastructure that AI would need to run. 
It wasn't a comeback built on nostalgia. It was one built on engineering, on systems integration, on trust. The same company that once connected people was now connecting machines and laying the groundwork for a new era of intelligent networks. And then, in late 2025, the silence broke. NVIDIA, the same company that is powering the world's AI revolution, announced a $1 billion investment into Nokia. Not to revive a phone brand, but to reinvent global connectivity itself. This is completely revolutionary. We call it NVIDIA Arc. And Nokia is going to work with us to integrate our technology. It wasn't just a check. It was a signal that the future of AI would not be confined to merely data centers and server rules. It is coming to the network near us, in the very airwaves that connect us. Nokia now owns the towers, the base stations and the 5 and 60 infrastructure. NVIDIA owes the compute control, the GPUs and the AI-powered networks that train everything from chat GPT to self-driving cars. Put them both together and you would get something so extraordinary that it could redefine telecom entirely. So, what does a billion dollars buy here? 2.9% stake in Nokia. But more importantly, a shared mission to build the world's first AI native network. An intelligent network that thinks for itself. On October 28, 2025, NVIDIA acquired roughly 2.9% of Nokia to a directed shared issuance at $6.01 per share, valuing Nokia at nearly $34.5 billion. But beyond equity, the partnership runs deep. Together, they're developing AI-driven radio access network systems, AI RAN, powered by NVIDIA's Gray CPUs and Black Red GPUs. Think of it as a network that doesn't wait for instructions. It learns, adapts, and optimizes in real time. Today, telecom operators rely on fixed hardware to route signals and manage traffic. Tomorrow, AI RAN will let those functions run on GPU-accelerated cloud platforms cutting energy use and boosting speed without playing a single new cable. T-Mobile USA is already on board for early trials starting next year. Full-scale commercial rollouts are targeted for 2027, right in time for the 6G era. For Nokia, this means differentiation, a way to leap past Ericsson and Huawei in the race for AI-ready networks. For NVIDIA, it's a new frontier beyond data centers, telecom infrastructure. Together, they are turning connectivity into computation and laying the foundation for a $200 billion market that will define how AI actually reaches you. So, what does this mean for you and me? On paper, it's an AI network deal. But in reality, it's all the digital experiences around you, right from your calls, to your cars, to any digital outlets in your city. They all would soon start thinking for themselves. Imagine streaming a match with an unstable network. Instead of buffering, your network predicts the demand and adjusts accordingly. Or your electric car talking to all the traffic signals around it and navigating the safest and fastest route accordingly. That's what AI RAN does for you. Networks that don't just connect us, but collaborate with us. It's not just about man versus machine anymore. It's machine learning from man. Analysts estimate the AI RAN market could exceed $200 billion by 2030. Telecom today consumes nearly 2% of global energy. By embedding AI into radio networks, Nokia and NVIDIA aim to cut that drastically, optimizing signals, routing traffic, and reducing idle power waste. This means faster speeds without heavier footprints, smarter networks without extra infrastructure and a world where connectivity evolves in real time. For investors, it's the dawn of a new vertical where hardware, software and intelligence merge into one ecosystem. For engineers, it's a new playground. Networks as programmable, self-aware systems. For everyone else, it's the quiet revolution you'll feel every time something just works faster, clearer and smoother. In a sense, Nokia is doing what it's always done, connecting people. Only this time, 
It's connecting the intelligence that connects everything else. We started this story with a phone that connected people. We're ending it with a network that's intelligent. Because the future of communication isn't just faster data, it's smarter data. Networks that don't just wait for commands, they understand intent. Systems that predict, adapt and evolve silently, instantly. For NVIDIA, this is the next frontier. AI is leaving the data centers and entering into our real lives. The towers, the cities and all around us. For Nokia, this is the second life. Not in our hands, but in the airwaves that connect us. The company, once known for the phone in your pocket, is now powering the entire atmosphere around you. As 5G matures and 6G looms, the line between device and network will blur. Your call, your car, your home. All will operate on networks that learn in real time. Every connection will generate insight. Every signal will carry intelligence. And somewhere in that invisible web of data, two nades, one old, one new, will quietly define how the future stays connected. NVIDIA and Nokia. It's not just a comeback story. It's proof that in technology, the past doesn't vanish, it evolves. Reinvention is the new innovation. Comebacks don't happen by accident. They happen when clarity meets conviction. Nokia's comeback and its deal with NVIDIA is a story of resilience and alignment of vision. Turning networks into intelligence and connection into computation. It's a reminder that in business, as in real life, the ones who last aren't necessarily the loudest. They are the ones who keep building when no one's watching. Stay connected, stay curious. This is Rishabh from Funwise signing off. Until next time with another engaging business story.